The Lutheran Church in Jerusalem just took an historic leap forward, ordaining the first female Palestinian pastor in the Holy Land. Our Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen joins us live from the Old City with more on who she is and why the church is celebrating. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, everyone. Sally Azar didn't just break the glass ceiling. She shattered it on her way to an even higher calling for the Lutheran Church. Azar isn't just the first ordained female Arab Christian pastor in Jerusalem. She's the only one in the entire Middle East. Marching to her own beat. For Sally Azar, this procession down the aisle at the Church of Jerusalem is the most important one of her life as she answers a divine calling. In Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself. The pews were packed Sunday for Azar's ordination ceremony in the Old City. Azar's been tapped to lead the English-speaking congregation at the Church of the Redeemer, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land. Most Arab Christians in Israel belong to churches that don't allow female clergy. A very small minority of Protestant congregations do have women as ministers, but they've never had an Arab Christian woman until now. I never, never thought about becoming the first female pastor, to be honest. Just because I was hopeful that there would be other women who might study theology and come back to town one day, but that wasn't the case. Growing up in an Arab Christian home, Azar attended Catholic school in Bethlehem. She says she was drawn to ministry, but knew becoming a pastor would be a tough road. Despite opposition, she pursued her passion and enrolled in seminary in Jerusalem. I hope through this, th through this day, through this ordination, many women are inspired. I am glad that the ordination today is possible, as it is not possible in many other churches, and even the ones that have it are still facing a lot of issues. According to the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics, Judea and Samaria is home to around 47,000 Arab Christians. The Evangelical Lutheran Church says it has around 3,000 members from Jerusalem to Jordan, a small number that's likely to grow, thanks to Azar, who's already inspiring other women. In the olden times, the women's uh, role was narrowed to being in the house, being in the kitchen, raising the kids. Then they, uh, they opened up to the idea of her becoming uh, a working woman, uh, a mom, uh, a leading lady. So this is another step forward. Azar thanks her parents for encouraging her to be a trailblazer in the church, despite pushback from people in her own community who told her women shouldn't be pastors. The Middle East Council of Churches says Azar is one of only five ordained women in the entire region, joining one in Syria and three in Lebanon. Allison, what do you think? I think it's great. I love this. Great story. Thank Pretty you. amazing, right? Absolutely. Daniel Cohen, thank you so much.